Amolu Abi in Diaspora presents The Journey So Far, The Transformational Agenda of Governor Rauf Aregueshaba. Oh, we want to see a state that will be the hall of forms. We want to see this state as the most peaceful state. We want to see this state as the state where we have the arguments, the most fulfilled, economically endowed citizens of I want to see this state as the able all Nigerians for rest, for sightseeing tourism, for, for economic engagement. I want to see this state as the best state. That I mean, making factory came as a lot of our investment in uniform for our school children. That company employs 3,000 of our citizens, youth. My brothers and sisters from the same mother and father are Christians. If I cannot, if I cannot Islamize my immediate family, <laughs> how would I care for make any effort to Islamize his things? Joshua Elderlies get stippers on a monthly basis. And not only that, uh, they, uh, we have database and the addresses, so the paramedics visit them. visit them, the youth visit them, play with them, uh, help them to take them to the nearby hospitals to collect their medication, and health is free in Osho. Education is free in Osho. These are all safety nets, social safety nets that many have. So they should look at all those things and expect more. There are more to come in terms of benefit to uh, international market. Is 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 very very good because you are going to have close to a thousand people engaging in, in, in trading. People's oriented administration, and that's a, a common thread that runs through our programs and our policies, and that is uplifting of demand. I want to use the word man, I use it in the context of humanity. He is running a people oriented program. The first he did in the first hundred days was to employ 20,000 youths using his own security vote, which others have been wasting by sharing among the security agencies, and this has employed. 20,000 youth, costing the government about 200 million naira a month. And this is poured into the economy of the state, definitely there is a change. And that has actually you know, improved the earnings of Osho indigenous and the people living in Osho. So right now, we have at least 100% provision for power supply. I mean, in terms of generating generators, in case there is an uh, outage of electricity, that was not there before. Once there was no electricity, we were about to wait until the uh, uh, subsequent. Wow.